Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here taking out the worst reserve aircraft in the game. <laughs> uh, we just spaded the Fury. We're working on the Nimrod MK2 now. Um, yeah, I've got nothing on it yet. So still default ammo. We're going to try and change that as soon as we can. Um, let's see. So all these planes are pretty terrible. Um, Two 7.7 millimeters, slow fire rate, doesn't, has very slow roll rate, uh, doesn't climb well, doesn't hold energy well, um, somewhat maneuverable. You can move around in it, but uh, other than that, they're pretty bad. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map's course in. We have default ammo for now. It's our first fly out in the Nimrod Mark II. Uh, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load, and we're ready to go. Start off with our 30 degree climb as usual. It's going to give us an energy advantage when we meet our opponents and it's going to make uh, most of our team be out in front of us so we won't be the first target they see and want to go after. Let's see what they got on their side. Decent amount of bombers. So we might be taking some pot shots at bombers trying to avoid their back gunner uh, more than we're going to be fighting other fighters. We'll see how it plays out though. That PBM can definitely do some damage on our ground units. All right, let's dive in. H75, that is super fast. Pretty good guns. Great energy fighter. So he's running away from our teammates so that they can't get shots into him. But because we uh, did that climb early on in the game, we can actually hold energy with him for a minute. set them on fire that's good tens down this guy looks like he's asleep which would be nice all right he's down a few things on the radar so let's keep our eyes open two behind us one up top and one's dead so we're okay we're gonna head back over to our side Definitely prefer to try and take out the guys on our side so that we can get support when we need it from our teammates if we get in trouble. Don't like that I-15 above us. Never a good thing. Alright, let's see if we can get a few shots and maybe set this guy on fire. It's about the best chance we have. Let's go for the I-15. It's more of a concern. Something shot us. That's alright. Still shooting at us. There he is. So we're just going to rudder. This is one of those times while we fight on our side of the uh, of the battlefield. Because we're not going to be able to out turn an I-15 no matter what. We're just going to have to kind of stay out of his guns and wait to get some support from our teammates. Sometimes that takes a while. Just be patient. Don't do anything too stupid. If they want to do something stupid, take advantage of it. A few shots in here and there. Looks like we got some help from our teammates. He used his rudder when he shouldn't. Too low to the ground, so he's down. Focus on the HE-51. Any ammo. God, we're slow though. Get in there somewhere. This default ammo really doesn't do much damage. I'm gonna reload. Looks like he's done. Guy down to our left, key tent, head that direction. So with that I-15, basically we just kind of hung out, didn't get shot too much by him, and uh, waited for support. Sometimes that's the best you can do. I know we all want to be amazing and shoot down every plane ourselves, but we want to play smart and do better in the long run. Let's go back towards Key 10. Not going to reload just yet. 
Two more coming in close. One's an I-15, which might be a guy I pissed off earlier. You gotta keep an eye out for revenge killers. Usually one of them. Some shots into him. Break off towards the guy making smoke and moving around a lot. do it. Alright, so we ended up with six kills. We got Survivor, uh, most kills out there without dying, and first place on the team. I am very happy with that on this vehicle. Uh, they tend to be tough. So, um, guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all next one. America! Yeah, to save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.